The latest Zelda Tears of the Kingdom leak revealed the entire art book, which is yet to release together with the game. It revealed the game art of the several outfits for Link, new characters, locations, and lots of new enemy types. The recent art book leak for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom revealed a lot of the game art and it just looks amazing. The leak includes pictures of many new enemy types and creatures that we have never seen before. There's one thing that all the smaller enemies in the game art book had in common. It looks like Bacoblins, Lazalfos and all the other common mobs can be equipped with a weapon on their head. It sounds as bizarre as it looks because these creatures have blades and clubs on their head which look like giant horns. In fact, a lot of enemies that we haven't seen yet got revealed. There's a huge slug like creature that reminded us a lot of Jabba the Hutt, a new mob kind that seems to be quite similar to Lazalfos and a weird looking slimy and overall off-putting thing with a big upturned and a wide open mouth. As unpleasant as these creatures may sound, those are exactly the type of enemies we want to see in Tears of the Kingdom. Epic boss fights and scary creatures on Ocarina of Time level. That's what we are here for. The latest trailer for TOTK showed us a mysterious girl in a white dress. Many fans assume her to be Zelda, but that has now finally been proven wrong because the art book includes an image of that exact person. Another more fitting theory is that the girl is the goddess Hylia, a character who has appeared repeatedly in the Zelda series from the beginning. Although she is said to be a close ancestor of the royal family of Hyrule, she is not Zelda. A really cool part of the Breath of the Wild was the many different outfits for Link. Tears of the Kingdom is definitely not going to disappoint us there. The art book contains several concept art pieces of outfits for Link, which simply look incredible. As taken from another sketch, TOTK will have gliding suits. Although we don't really have much info about it, it seems like the gliding suit could help Link go from one floating island to another. In terms of style, there is one fit that definitely stands out in a whole art book and that is an insane looking bloopy outfit. Some of you might be familiar with the bloopies from Breath of the Wild. These blue and glowing creatures often appear in the form of rabbits. Although all of these things are quite cool and exciting, there is one thing in particular in the TOTK art book that has caught my attention. Hey, it's Mushrooms. The book includes several pages filled with sketches of characters and game assets that are all mushroom themed. There are even a couple of gigantic mushrooms that look super impressive and reminded us a lot of the Studio Ghibli aesthetic. Maybe Zilla Tears of the Kingdom will have a new mushroom biome and village. Either way, it fits perfectly into the Zelda vibe, and we are super hyped about it. And that's it for today guys, let me know what y'all think about that, and also don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.